There's no other place you'd rather be. Nowhere. Nowhere in the world. Just Tennessee. Just Tennessee's fine. You'll take Tennessee. Okay. All right. Let's learn Tennessee Jed. <laughs> What the fuck is up, family? It's it's me. Hello, Davey. And I'm here. I'm always here. I never leave this room. This is my little space, my little nook in the universe. That's it. So I, I don't have a life outside of this. When you when you watch this, I become alive. I'm not a real person. Just saying. Anyways, welcome to a brand new episode of Play Dead here on the Toby and Davey channel. If it's your first time, I'm sorry, you must be very confused. But go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we drop all of our little goodies. Goodies that consist of a Drink and a Joint podcast that comes out every Tuesday at 8 a.m. They're great. They're getting a lot better. We're getting good. It's We're almost at episode 100, so we fucking better. You know, people are starting to listen now, so we got to start stepping up the ante. Also, Loose Beats. Loose Beats comes out at Wednesdays at 3 on Wednesdays at 3. My bad. A little tongue tied. Don't worry about it. Just a little cotton mouth. Play Dead every Thursday at noon. Okie dokie. Let's start talking about this song a little bit. The Tennessee Jed. It was first played October 19th, 1971. In Missouri, I think. I think it was in Missouri that they played it first. And, uh... Robert Hunter actually wrote this song in Barcelona, Spain. That's how you say that. It's the proper pronunciation of Barcelona, España. So, just saying. He said that he, he was walking down a cobblestone street one evening in Barcelona. And he hummed the tune and came up with the lyrics to a man who was several blocks or steps ahead of him several steps ahead of him, playing on a jaw harp. Isn't that a story? Isn't that a story? I think so. But anyways, your song's in C major. This is how it breaks down, okay? You've got your intro. You've got your verse, which kind of contains your intro, like most dead songs do. Then you've got uh, this this thing, this these four chords that lead you into your chorus that also bring you out of the jam. And then you've got the jam. Wait. Chorus, and then the jam, okay? And I'm going to show you that jam. That's what we're going to lead over later. I'm not going to lead over, like, the, the chord progression or anything like that because that's not, it's not super common. It's really just this kind of jam that is what makes it up. You can solo over the chord progression, but the, the jam is really cool. Let's start with that intro. This is a thick boy. This is a thick boy, so let's get into it, all right? <laughs> Welcome to the intro, baby. That's your tab. You're going to want this to be on your bridge pickup, okay? So it can have that, that like throaty twangy sound that Jerry loved oh so much. Okay, so I'm going to play through it and then we'll break it down. <laughs> there's a slight variation in that last one you do right before you hit the verse so we're gonna hit we're gonna go over that okay so what we're gonna start with is that that you know that ubiquitous so what you're gonna do is you're gonna be on that G string then you're gonna go seven seven on that D <clears throat> sorry seven on that G string then you're gonna bend that up to nine then you're gonna bend it back down so seven nine nine seven we did this sort of similar thing in Mr. Charlie. So it's... That's Mr. Charlie. Now this is... So we're going to do a 7 to 9, 9 to 7, and a 5. So. And now you've got the thing that people want out of this song. <laughs> and if 
you can get a slight pinch harmonic out of it. In the later years, Jerry loved those pinch harmonics. So much so that he would make so many awkward solos out of them. Like he wouldn't, he wouldn't just try. And when he missed one, he'd hop back into to playing his normal styles with a Z. No, he'd just go. He'd go at it. He'd keep going, and he wouldn't stop. But it's, I mean, he's dead. It's fine. It's fine. And after that, after you hit that five, so. All right, and now we're going to hit a seven on the D. All right, on the D, hit that seven. And then you're going you're gonna to string skip, so you're not going to hit that D anymore. So. And then you're going to jump down here to the five on the A string. You're going to hit. So you're basically going to bend it a half step, or you could slide up. So, so five, bend to six, back to five. So, and then you're going to hit a three on the A. All right, and now you're going to hit the second part of that, which is a three to five on the E string, and then a three on the A. You're gonna go back and forth from that five to that three, uh, four times, it, three times. Four. <laughs> and then on that last one, you're gonna go from five to seven. That. And you start over. However many you want to do of those. So you can do that whole phrase as many times as you want to. Usually the dead would either do it twice or four times. And on that fourth time, you, or on the third time, you skip back faster. So. kind of the signal that like all right i'm ready to go into the verse and that's that's what leads them in so you're going to basically do that same thing again and when you hit that instead of going to the you go back up to the and if you remember you can also um sometimes jerry would do this thing where he'd just keep bending and then come back down so it'd be like uh Like that, or it'd be up here. Just bend through it. Just bend your way through to the other side, guys. Like Jerry did. Just bend your way through to the other side. All right, so let's move on. Let's move on to those verses, okay? Cool. Cold and shackles, ball and chain. All right, so. Your verses. Boom. First chords. All right. There's some chords. Okay. But I'm going to play it. We're going to break it down like we always do. So don't just hush your little mouth. Hush your bitchy little mouth. And we'll get into it. Okay. I said hush your bitchy little mouth. Jesus. Uppity today. Damn. Okay. This is what it's going to sound like. <laughs> tag once between the verses so your verses come in couplings of two okay so you do your first verse you do the tag line and then you do the next verse and then at the end of that one you do the the pre-chorus chords okay so we're going to break down that verse first and then we'll get to that pre-chorus chords so it starts on a c shackles, ball and chain. And then you hit your thing then an f then 
listen to the whistle. And then on the of the evening, go to G. Of the evening. And then on train, you hit a C. Train. So listen to the whistle of the evening train. Do your theme again. Then you get to this fun part, though. No, you you're bound to wind up dead. So that's a C to a C7 to a D minor 7 to a C to a C7. Okay, so. No, you C7 bound to D minor 7. Wind up dead. C, and then you punctuate it on a C7. No, you bound to wind up dead. If you don't head back to G, to Tennessee, to C, dead, and then you hit your, you hit your second one. Which man step on my poor head? into our pre-chorus chords. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go into the pre-chorus and chorus section because we're going to handle it all in one. And go. Tennessee, Tennessee, there ain't no And welcome to the pre-chorus chorus section, everybody. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. These are your pre-chorus chords, and we're going to knock that out real quick. So your pre-chorus chords are as follows. B flat, F, G, C. That's it, okay? But that's your thing, though. Or. It also goes with that. See what I'm saying? Cool. So that's your pre-chorus. So it's B flat, F, G, C. Cool. And now for your chorus. These are your chorus chords, okay? So I'm going to play it, and we're going to get into it. We're going to start with our pre-chorus chords. Tennessee, Tennessee, there ain't no place I'd rather be. Baby, won't you carry me back to Tennessee? And so at the end of your chorus, you're only going to hit a. And you're going to go to that second half of it. Okay? I know it's a little weird, but it makes so much sense when you're doing it. Let's break it down. So after our B flat, F, G, to C, we're going to go down to F. Tennessee, Tennessee. And we're going to go to C. The ain't no place I. G to F, rather be than to C, baby won't you, then G to F, so carry me, and then we're going to go C, G, F, so back to Tennessee, and then, okay, just that part though, the 7 to 9, and the 7 to that thing you got it you've got that part down but let's get to the jam so guys the jam in the song is very easy very straightforward very simple so what it is is you're basically jamming on c for a long time so I'm sure you guys know about this jam because it's like, I mean, but you're just chilling on C, okay? And then you're going to hit a C sharp 
after a while, okay, it, you, you need to get with your people or you choose. You know, you do like a section of eight or a section of 16 of those Cs, okay? And then after a predetermined amount of time or an indeterminate amount of time, you can just look around at your boys and your band and then just give the, give the eyes, give the eyes and the nods that we're going to do it. We're going to make the move. We're going to make the move up to G because that's what you're doing. You're going from C up to G, and then it's going to all end together with the... <laughs> chorus comes into. Got it? So you're going to start with that C. Okay, so did you see how we, we did that move up to C sharp to G? over that that's when you throw in the or you do it up here with a and then you go back into your chorus for that last chorus now i'm going to play over the jam and show you guys kind of like what that would sound like and i'm gonna throw a little bit of heat on i'm gonna throw my bbe green screamer on and uh here we go <laughs> pretty fun it's a lot of fun you get up in the moment and then you're like oh shit it's that time <laughs> it's so dumb but i love you guys i'm dumb i'm dumb i'm dumb okay the dad's not dumb i'm done dumb i'm also done you're done i love you good job good job guys and if you can remember to please like share subscribe we we need a bigger family we need a bigger family. We need to need to get out to all the deadheads and the hippies and the people that like the loose beats and the drinking and joints. You need to get out there. You need to listen to those. Please throw a drinking and joint on in the background. Like, uh, l pull up another tab and put a drinking and joint on on mute. Or you can listen to all of them, but on mute so you can just let them roll through and play through. That'd be great for us. We're trying to reach 4,000 watch hours before the end of the year so we can get monetized. That'd be great because we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. We're almost there. We might be there when this video comes out. We might be at 1,000 subscribers. So I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. You guys mean so much to us. It's because of you guys. It's because of you guys that we get to do this. And it makes my heart really happy. So no homo, but nice hog. All right. Bye.